This is a tutorial on how to use the ShowNet interface as ArtNet node. I need to explain that it's not a full ArtNet node, but it's limited to DMX functionality. So what can the ShowNet do in terms of ArtNet to DMX feature? We have a show net here in this laser system. It's a laser well pure light system and it's got an integrated show net. We want to control this laser via ArtNet. So we can use a long LAN cable, can use network infrastructure for controlling this laser. But then there is another lighting fixture. In this case, it's just a spotlight. And this spotlight uh, only can be controlled via DMX. So what we want to do is we want to use LAN signal, ARTNET, digital signal into the laser and from the laser we want to use the DMX cable, normal DMX cable to the lighting fixture and it can also be other lighting fixtures of course as well. You can daisy chain the signal afterwards. So it's basically a conversion of a network signal to DMX and the show net can do this. So let's start and see how this works. First of all, we need to configure our show net inside the laser to understand ArtNet and to be able to transform the signal. To do so, we need to connect it with a network cable to our computer. So in this case, I connect the laser to the computer with a normal network cable. What we need to do is first for the initial configuration, we need to set the show net to understand the network signal. So this means we need to set LAN show net. Uh, this is the same as you set if you have a dip switch device uh, at the dip switches so it can be controlled by computer. You find the link to the manual below this video. So first of all, so these settings are necessary for the communication with the computer. We need to make sure that we find the right communication method. In this case, we want to use auto IP because there is no DHCP server present. So I confirmed auto IP as connectivity method. The next step would be opening the ShowNet admin tool. I opened the ShowNet admin tool and it immediately discovered our laser, which is only one laser because we just have one laser connected. So with having this laser connected, I need to switch to the settings. And in the settings tab, you see there is different connectivity options given as data source for physical DMX out. This is what we want to use with ArtNet to DMX because we want to convert the ArtNet signal that we're giving into the laser to a DMX signal. So the left drop down menu is switched to ArtNet to DMX. The second one, data source for laser show softwares DMX in, is not relevant here because we don't want to use any laser software, we just, just want to use ArtNet or DMX. On the right drop down, we definitely need to select ArtNet input because we want to have the laser listen to ArtNet signal on the input. And then, of course, we need to select. DMX signal out. If you have an integrated mainboard, integrated ShowNet laser mainboard, you definitely need to select the DMX port out mode. You get this option only if you have an integrated board. If you have an external ShowNet, it's sufficient to use the DMX adapter. You don't need to do any settings like that. You don't even get the option to do that. So it's just relevant for the internal boards that you need to set DMX port mode to, port mode to DMX signal out. Now we hit store data. To store the data, we confirm all these warnings and now the settings are written into the show net so we can use the show net accordingly. Let's wait some seconds for it to finish. It says flash update successfully completed and now we need to reboot the laser once so it reinitiates the operation modes. We hit OK. The admin tool closes. We just switch power off on the laser, power it on again, and now we can completely step to the ArtNet operation mode. This is what we're going to do in the next step.
So what we're going to do is we tell this laser that it shall listen to DMX commands. So ArtNet is some sort of DMX commands. It's a digital, special digital LAN transmission of DMX commands. So we need to set the laser to DMX, which means DMX show that. We set this and then we need to set the DMX address that we can connect the laser with. Um, this would be in our case just to make a difference to that device, which is a stupid light. I just select, let's say five. Let's say five, we just ch uh, select channel five. And we set DMX address five. Now, as this laser now has a DMX address, and it's also configured to work in ArtNet mode, it also got an ArtNet IP address automatically. So as soon as you set a DMX address at the laser, it switches to ArtNet listening, um, if it's configured for ArtNet listening, of course. Now, if we connect that laser with uh, a basic ArtNet controller, which is this one, it's a free one you can get online, um, you should be able to operate the laser already with ArtNet. And you see, I'm just, I'm just pulling the faders. I didn't configure anything, but I can already run it with ArtNet. So as you can see, we control the laser via ArtNet already. Now what we want to do is, we not only want to control the laser, but we also want to control this lighting fixture. So what we need to do is we need to connect the lighting fixture to the laser to make it listen to DMX as we just set the laser to send DMX. So the laser became some sort of lighting controller. So I'm powering up that lighting fixture, just let it boot, let it sit for some seconds and then we'll check if it will listen to our channel 1 because this device is rather stupid, it doesn't have too many features but that's sufficient for us. So it's configured for DMX address 1 and let's see if it reacts. As you can see, if I use our channel 1 and 2, because it's a two-channel two fixture, obviously, we can control this lighting device easily with the same controller. And this controller actually is an ArtNet controller. So we only have the communication between the computer and the ShowNet device. And the ShowNet transforms the signal to DMX. And you can even continue the DMX line to other lighting fixtures. So as you can see, it's really simple to control lighting fixtures through ArtNet with the use of the ShowNet as some sort of ArtNet node. And it's pretty simple to set up. Of course, we have a computer now for controlling the ArtNet, but you can use any type of console. You can use GrandMA, you can use AvoLite, you can use Jamsys, whatever type of console you have that understands and can send ArtNet commands, it works. It works like a charm and you just plug and get going.